I graduated last week with a Bachelor's of Arts in Experimental Media and Queer Chicano Studies. You may not have heard of this emphasis before. That's because transgendered Mexicans don't make movies. We make essay films. Pedro Fernandez's cock is pushing against his fitted pants. My abuelita puts on her glasses to see if he's wearing his wedding ring. Her high-definition TV reveals he is. Disappointed, she states, Ah, chucks. Pedro Fernandez wiggles his ass and my abuelita suggests he shake it, but don't break it. During the commercial break, there's a news teaser about some women who committed an unspecified crime against two innocent children. Merecen que las quemen con leña verde para que nunca se dejen de quemar, says my abuelita. She says that's what her mother would have said. Father's Day is this Sunday. My abuelita frets about making my cousin in La Chuletas. I plan to raise kids, but something tells me I'm never going to get no chuletas for Father's Day. My inner fag takes revenge, plotting to learn to make them by watching her make them for El Bil. Mama says she's being neutral about my transition. So sublimely PC. P-Flag would have been proud. Neutral, as in neutered, desexed, sexless. For now, I am my mother's Kendall son. The first change I noticed was the busyness in me. Busyness like encyclopedias, like lists, like receipts, like birth certificates, like job applications, like scripture. Busyness like a room full of ancestors sitting in folding chairs telling stories to each other in my sleep. And my body, a chemistry and alchemy set in motion, listening intently. Luke tells me I yelled pinches mapaches in my sleep the other night, before rolling over and squeezing her in my arms, saying, Te quiero un chingo, güera. She says it was like I was suddenly possessed by a rough campesino man. She says, whoever he was, I love that man.